Hey hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the Weekly Contest 227. Uh, largest merge of two strings. So actually I did this one pretty quickly. I spent too much time at the end uh, testing for this one because I wasn't sure. Um, but but I think this is uh, greedy in a way. And, and how is it greedy? Um, I think for me, during the contest, the way that I proved to myself it is greedy and I noticed that N is less than 3,000. So we have to be... Um, so N square works, but not so much in Python. I don't know why they do it that way. Um, the only reason why my N square solution works is because in Python, the strings optimize, uh, the string operations are optimized. But, but like if, it, if I had to rewrite my own string operations, it would be too slow. So I think that's actually, um, that's actually not great. Um, but yeah, uh. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so the pro so this problem is gonna be um, n squares. I said the, the intuition behind behind the greedy is just for me during the contest. It's just try out every case, right? So th this is a good case to kind of highlight it. Uh, let me put put it here for visualization. Let me also make it a little bit bigger. Um, here, um, you know, so, so the tricky part about this one is knowing that here, uh, the solution you actually, because, you know, you, you take the A, you don't know which A to take first, um, and the, the, the prefix that you want to take is the one that gives you the, the largest lexicographically earlier or lexicographically largest string, right? And that means that you're going to go, okay, do I take the first character? Nope. Uh, can I take the second character? No, um, because they're still the same. And then the third cat, the three characters, A, B, and D. And because this is good, then we we just want to take this chunk because A, B, and D is before A, B, and C, right? So that's kind of one uh, at one case. The other case that I tested and I did this during the contest, it, it was decreasing, right? If it's decreasing, I don't know B and C say. Um, then you actually don't do the prefix, right? Because D, because then you do the greedy of um, if they're the same. Um, well, I mean, I do the same logic, but I I do it one string at a one character at a time. So then I go, okay, C is better than B, so let's take it from this string. It's just a tiebreaker. It actually doesn't matter in this case because then now you take the D and you remove the D. But then here again, because it's lexicographically larger, you take the second D and then so forth, um, and then you kind of keep on going that way. And um, and I think this is also uh, for this problem. If you have trouble seeing why for lexicographically largest greedy works, um, it's because you know if you look at any given string, uh, let's say you know you have a, 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 a um, b a, 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 a or maybe even do something like you know z z z z z z z z z right. Um, in this case, you always want to optimize for the earlier character because. In this case, even though it doesn't matter what the rest of the characters are, right? Because as long as we have B, this is this string will always be larger than this string, right? So, so that's kind of the idea, and we try to figure out how to be as greedy as possible, and in a way that the code works fast enough, right? So that's basically the idea behind this problem. Um, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, so then after that, um, basically I built a deck of the two words. You could also use a pointer. I think it's just, I mean, it's definitely the same, but I like using a deck because it lets me do what I'm about to do, but also just, um, yeah, it just makes it a little bit, uh, clearer so that I don't have to understand it. Um, though with N equals 3000, maybe that was a little bit cutting it close. So I don't know. We'll see. But, um. But yeah, but so I create a deck of the two words, and then here, this is kind of similar to merge sort, uh, where, okay, while they both have string, I do a comparison. And again, we use greedy because, because if the two characters are not the same, whatever character you take, there's no way to make it bigger by taking the other one, right? Because it's smaller by default. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. So. So yeah, um, 
And then after that, we look at the entire substring, which is what this does. Um, and this is basically the same thing that we talked about earlier, where we looked at, you know, if it's A, B, C, D, A, B, C, E, we want to be able to take uh, the A from here because we know that um, it, there is a way to get to the E earlier. So that's basically what th this does is that it does a substring comparison. And this is actually O of N, even though this is very, um, you know, this this line is very short and and that, you know, you might not notice it, but this is O of N because this, this the, the length of the string could be O of N and and this is an O of N comparison. So yeah, so that that's why this loop is n square. Um, but ho thankfully, because I guess string comparisons in Python is fast enough because they optimize it. Um, that's my guess. I don't know for sure. But in any case, that's you know this is n square, and we just take the first character from that and we pop it. Um, so that so th the re the reason why we do it this way instead of taking the prefix is so that we handle both cases of increasing and decreasing uh, strings. And then at the way end, we just make sure that if there's any characters left we put in the, at the end and that's pretty much it so what is the complexity of this uh so it's gonna be dominated by this part again this is this is o of n this is linear hopefully that's clearer and this is o, also o of n this is the part that's subtle even if you might have gotten it without noticing so yeah so this is o of n square kind of we want to call it that or o of m uh oops what did i do uh or, or this Oops. Uh, the square, if you want to call it that, uh, roughly speaking. And in terms of space, the way that I did it, it's going to be O of N plus M because I used DAX. But, uh, but this can be improved to O of 1. And the way that you do an O of 1 is just having two pointers, right? Instead of having a deck. Um, so you just uh, keep track of what, what's the, the beginning of the, the, the string. Um, and then just pop them off as necessary. Uh, but yeah, uh, cool. Um, that's all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think. And I will... Yeah, and I will... Yeah, you can watch me solve it during the contest. Next. Let, let me make this smaller a little bit for a second so you can screenshot it or whatever. Uh, so yeah. And you, now you can watch me do this. Next. Graphically launches. So the, the hot case is trying to figure out which one to go.
Oops. Uh, spending too much time. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Um, let me know what you think about this problem and this solution, this explanation. Um, and yeah, do have a good day and, and a good weekend. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, and I will see you next problem. Bye-bye.